We all know you get what you pay for, right? Yep. So it stands to reason that your $30 lipstick wears far better than that $3 lip gloss. On the other hand, there are those dirty rumors that plenty of makeup products are actually made in the same plant and then distributed by the high-end companies and drugstores alike. So, how do you get the best bang for your beauty buck? For that, we turn to model in the know, Shelly Goodstein. It's so great to have you here. Oh, Good nice morning. to see you, girls. Yes. You I know, like this because I I like makeup tips from you. Yes, and <laughs> I've also been caught one too many times actually paying a premium mm -hmm. for the expensive lip gloss or lipstick or foundation when I don't know if I really need to. Yeah, we've all been there. But there are these, uh, what the beauty industry calls dupes, and they're similar products in different brands that um, you can hardly tell the difference of. So I brought six today, and if you were to buy the high-end brands, it would cost you $170. Wow. There are similar dupes uh, in the drugstore, $40. So 75% oh. savings, and just to tell you that I believe in this, I wore all the beauty dupes, and I own all the high-end brands. So today, so... Um, and you can't even tell. I mean, your makeup looks flawless. Well, thank you. I tried hard, and um, I want to start. I have a lot of products, so I want to get yep. to them. I start with um, the HD foundations. Um, this is the cosmetics industry's answer to all these high definition cameras that can oh. see every pore in detail, mm -hmm. especially on television, but not just for TV. Everyone wants that flawless looking skin. Mm -hmm. So the holy grail of foundations here is this product, Makeup Forever HD Foundation. Okay. And uh, this whole segment started because your co-host, Anne, said, I don't see the difference between Revlon Color Stay and uh, right. Makeup Forever HD. And she's not wrong. Revlon rules. It's the king in drug store foundations and color stay very similar they also make this product called photo ready and if you look at it the uh, has a pump just like the makeup forever it's like a beauty dupe for sure it's a little more sheer than the makeup forever HD and I would say the color stay is a little more coverage more long wearing right. so if you have oiler oilier skin or um, have problem skin where you want to cover you're going to be happier with the cover stay hard to tell the difference though yeah and do you know oh, off the top of your head what's the price difference yes um, the HD is 42 and the Revlon's about 10. Oh my gosh, that is huge, huge considering, savings. I mean, especially for us. I mean, we're wearing foundation all the time and caking it on that I'm buying it like once a month. Yep, there you go. Oh, wow. Okay, what's next? Okay, so I want to talk about mascaras. My favorite. My yes. staple. <laughs> <laughs> and I brought a picture. Okay, so this picture, guys, no mascara is going to make your lashes look like this. This Thank is you. fake, I would, though. false advertising, <laughs> false eyelashes, <laughs> photo shop um, don't believe it but uh, you know mascaras this is where you can save money because almost all the formulations for luxury or drugstore brand are about the same okay. um, pros love this Dior show but there's a new product by covergirl lash splash it's in this green tube you mm -hmm. can see there and it's called clump crusher and they say that um, you can put on 30 coats without clumping. And to prove a point, Did you I put it? on, yeah, I brought the picture. There is my lashes, no makeup, no curl, but 30 coats. And wow. you know, I judge uh, mascara on a lot of levels, but clumping is my big pet mm -hmm. peeve. And so this was um, launched in select stores November 1st. Uh, if you can find it, buy it. Uh, but nationwide, it will be January 1. It's eight bucks as opposed to 25. And it's a drier mascara like the Dior show, so you may find um, a lot of similarities there. Okay, and now you've brought some lip gloss. Yes, and you mentioned this um, in your start. So Lancome's makes this uh, juicy tubes. Yes, they're, I have that. So. Yeah, it's a cult following. But <laughs> Lancome is owned by L'Oreal, and L'Oreal makes this one called uh, Color Juice. They're very similar in shine, and if you look at the first four ingredients, they're exactly the same. Oh. So you may not want to give up oh your designer gosh. brands, but it is true that they make these same products, drugstore brands and luxury brands, in the same factories. I'm not saying they share the same recipes, but you have right. to kind of wonder. Right. Close enough. Mm -hmm. All right, we've got some blush. Yes, okay, so drugstore blush is usually diluted with a lot of fillers, and so I always say this is a place to splurge, and NARS Orgasm, they've made a whole empire. It's the best-selling blush color ever. It's this peachy pink, and um, but there is a beauty dupe. It's Milani, it's $6 versus $28. It is also highly pigmented, which is a shocker for a drugstore blush. Um, the color exactly is luminous, but it's hard to find, so this 
This one that I brought is Luminoso. It's a little more peach, not quite as shimmery, but unless you're a Twilight character, you may right. not want all that <laughs> shimmer anyway. Exactly. I, I actually like it um, better, and uh, it lives up to its name, both of them. They're good products. Good. All right. Six dollars, too. Wow. I can't beat that. Oh, we're into powder now. Yes. Okay, so Makeup Forever leads the way here too with their HD powder. And I'm not a big fan of the tinted powders, but the translucent powders mm -hmm. are great. They are colorless, so they work on every skin type from fair to deep. Um, and they really do mattify the skin and um, minimize pores. But there is an exact doppelganger, doppelganger by e.l.f. Cosmetics. It's $6. The Makeup Forever is uh, $32. So it's a big savings. They wow. have the same ingredients, and you'd be really hard pressed to tell the difference. Um, Elf contains also dimethicone along with silica. I'm not oh. sure the the ratio, but. It, it's very, very similar. Wow. wow. And really quickly, last product. Okay, eyeliner. This is a beauty staple for everyone. Mm -hmm. um, I really like the gel eyeliners, and YSL makes a beautiful one. It's $25. But Wet n Wild in your drugstores Wet are. Wild. Oh yes, my God. They, I remember that. Do you? <laughs> they make really great, they make great pencils, but this gel eyeliner for $2.99 is a lot of bang for your buck. Fantastic. Oh Shelly, thank you so much. Oh, this yes. Is so informative. You always have great information. Yeah, to share. save some money. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and to learn more about beauty tips and tricks by going to Shelly's website, facethis.me.